If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got Madden 21 news. Finally, guys, here we go. As you guys can see, first off, awesome, awesome card art. I mean, obviously, that's not real Madden card art. But the way they have it done here is pretty cool. So as you guys can see, if you do look here, it is going to show their X factors. And hopefully when we click into them, it will show their superstar abilities. So as you can see, Gambler, I'm going to get into everything in just a second. No spoilers. Get back up here. So the superstar X factor, the gaming, the game changing ability system that made NFL stars feel like stars just leveled up. Explore the brand new and updated superstar X factor abilities in Madden 21. Now here's the thing. In my opinion, what they mean by that is going to be that this year, they're going to be a little bit more personalized as you guys know last year they were generic things like but like the only personalized ability or one of the few was like bazooka that was like meant for patrick mahomes but not many things were meant just for certain players like it was more like generic things like jukebox which is a superstar ability let's say or first one free freight train hopefully they do more like how like like uh lamar jackson ability trust or true as you say it like once he gets in the zone running the ball in real life, like he just doesn't fumble, he's in the zone, he takes hits, like that's how it should be. And that's how I feel like they're gonna be going about doing it this year, which is really exciting because I like personalized stuff. Like abilities were cool as they were. Only thing to make them better would be that they were personalized. Like there was a one-handed catch ability that like Od only Odell could get, or something like that. You guys know what I mean? Or other receivers could get, but it was made for Odell, like one-handed catching, or the, the spec catch ability that means like when there's outside lit throws or throws that a little bit overthrown he can go back for one hand with it i think that'd be so cool but guys before we get into today's video we are getting close to man 21 we are less than a month away now super excited hopefully three weeks away in terms of you know the early release and everything that goes on so guys if you're new to the channel subscribe down below hit that turn on that noti bell i mean comment down below let me know what you guys think of this new brand new madden 21 news and if you guys haven't already i hope you guys are getting excited for madden 21 i'm sure as hell am Come subscribe to the channel so you guys are ready for that. Now let's head on down and let's check out what we're working with. So we got the defensive category, which is empty right now because they have not released that. It's going to be used over the next four days. So more than likely, it's going to be pretty much going to do some quarterbacks, maybe some more offense like halfbacks and wide receivers tomorrow. And then they're going to do some defense. You know, they're going to bracket it all along. So we got Aaron Rodgers first here. We got Aaron Rodgers with a gambler ability. Now I'll go into the superstars afterwards. So gambler ability right here. Is his X Factor, as you guys can see right here, Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay Packers QB. Uh, by the way, this is all designed by Conrad Javier. Um, go check him out on Twitter. I saw this thing before. Pretty cool card art. Really, really, really cool. So that, that's the logo for the Gambler this year. Then we got Drew Brees, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. He's got Pro Reads. If you guys know what Pro Reads are, well, let me go back. Gambler, I'm pretty sure is that you can like, I think it's, oh, is it AIs can't pick off your throws? Or, like, when you're in the zone, like, an AI can't pick you off. Like, it has to be usered. Or something like that. You have to switch onto the player, I think. Uh, Saints is pro reads here. So, that is going to be pretty much... It highlights the first read. So, let's say you do, like, a concept uh, concept flood scheme and the first guy goes up. That first drag will, like, will highlight it if he's open. Or the second one, let's just say. It's pretty self-explanatory ability. I mean, I don't like it. I just think pro reads is horrible because it just distracts me because that's not where I'm looking. I want to find my own reads. Not where the game tells me to throw especially with users because what might look open they're actually baiting so literally if a user baits you the first thing that they're baiting you is always going to look open on the pro reads oh uh, we got trust or truce however you say it, which i've told you guys that one is like very specific for lamar it's like i think you have to get eight carries of one yards or one yards or more pretty much just any pot eight eight rushes that are positive pretty much uh scrambling running with the ball running with the quarterback in general and you will get it it means he cannot fumble when he's in the zone so that's when you can start doing like QB power. You can start hitting them with the jukes. Like that's when you can really let Lamar go loose. So that's kind of the point. In the first half of games, you can slide, play it safe, take your yardage and do what you got to do. But by the second half of games, when you have that thing activated, you can go ham. You can start hitting them with the, the double juke, the human joystick, the side to side, the, the stop and goes. You can start going crazy with him and having fun with him because he should be, if you can keep him in the zone, don't let him get sacked, of course, or probably sacked or a loss of yards will probably be what kills that ability or that two X factor. Then we got Patrick Mahomes. He will be keeping the bazooka for this year. So bazooka. Now I want to see their superstar abilities. I feel like that's where they're really going to probably change up some names and some new abilities. So bazooka, same thing. Uh, I believe it's when you're in the zone, his max throw distance is increased by 15 yards. Not sure if they changed the thing on that, but that is what it used to be. So that was always super cool, especially with a guy like Tyree Kill, guys. I'm telling you, Tyree can already outrun people. So you know when you're running a streak and like the first 10 yards are even. The second 10 yards, you're kind of like getting a step and you're like, okay, I can't throw it yet. 
And then by like 45 yards, you're like, oh, or especially when there's a fast cornerback, he keeps you to like 40 yards. Now 40 yards, like, oh, I can kind of throw it. But by the time my pass gets there, if I lob it, they may come to a standstill because the throw couldn't get deep enough. With Bazooka, you can launch the entire field pretty much. So with Bazooka, you just you can just exit whenever you want, and he'll just throw it so far that by the time it gets there, Tyreek's burnt, burnt the man. So that it's super glitchy when you actually use it properly. Then we got Russell Wilson here with Blitz Radar. I'm pretty sure that's on third and fourth down. It highlights the blitzing, uh, the blitzing defenders. So cornerback blitzing, linebacker, linebacker blitzing, extra defensive lineman, whatever it is, whoever you have blitzing, uh, safety blitz, it will just highlight it for you. And then we got Tom Brady with pro reads. Now, as far as pro reads go, it's same thing as New Orleans Saints. It's going to highlight the first one now. Tom Brady had this last year. So far, I think all these guys had him last year besides Lamar Jackson. I think he had first one free. First one's free, which was just the instant juke automatically when you started. Now, I don't like pro reads. Again, that's why I usually don't like using Tom Brady or Drew Brees. I think pro reads just like, it like distracts me. So like if I'm looking for, uh, I set up my deep, my offense to run a corner route and a streak and then a drag. And I'm like, I want to hit the corner. It might tell me the drag's open right away, but I didn't want the drag. It might be third and down. And I don't need that. But in my head, it's telling me. Now, let's say you listen to it and you start following it. The issue comes with when you go to follow it, of course, now you have to deal with the fact that you might have a user, a user defender that's baiting that route to get you. And now you're going to throw it because it says it's open. But let's get on over to the abilities if there is. I mean, there is an arrow here. It wasn't working before and it still isn't working, which is kind of upsetting. I don't know why that uh, that arrow hasn't been working. I don't know if there's supposed to be abilities in there. I was hoping they would have fixed that. Now let's refresh the link here and let's try this again. I don't know why it's not working. Maybe they're not supposed to have anything in there yet. Maybe they're going to add it as days go on. Maybe for now, it's just the card art. I'm not entirely sure. Guys, okay, so I found another link over here for the X Factor um, actual definition. So I went over what the card arts were and all that stuff. Now I will show you the textbook definition of each and every one for all you guys who did want to go ahead and see that, as you guys can see here. So offensive abilities, we got bazooka, generational arm strength, we got blitz radar, defensive recognition, def defense recognition, which I'm pretty sure, like I said, was just the uh, third and fourth down blitzers, gambler, take calculated risk, pro reads, keeps the chains moving, and trues, trus, possession, all, all over all else. So you never drop that ball. Now let's see if we can click into these. Oh, so these do work. So bazooka, generational arm strength, max throwing distance increased by 15 yards, 80 yards total. So pretty much if you're just on the 20, you took a, you took a touchback, you got it. One completed pass of 30 yards in the air, knock out one sack. Now getting a sack and quarterback could take a while. If you play, if you play smart and you run the ball a lot and you make sure you keep it, you can keep that thing almost all game because sometimes you just can't get sacked. Or if you have a skate artist, one completed pass, 30 yards in the air. That's not hard. You just throw a deep, you throw a post, you, uh, you do a streak, a short streak or something, and just burns through the middle of the safeties. A cover three beater really wouldn't be the hardest thing to probably get. Now let's go back here and let's go check out the blitz radar. Blitz radar over here, as you guys can see, defensive recognition, extra blitzers that are not defensive linemen. Oh, so they can't be defensive linemen. Are highlighted during the play. How do you get it? Three scrambles of 10 plus yards. I mean, I guess that's a way to get it. I mean, I don't really like the way you get that, but I guess like that's like a Russell Wilson ability, right? So like. He sees the blitzers coming, he scrambles to the opposite side, picks up 10 yards. So you're gonna have to get 30 yards total. I mean, not the hardest thing to do, but could take at least a half or the second quarter, depending on how much you pass versus run. And I feel like this would be something where you try extra hard to get it activated. And then two sacks, I mean, that does take a while to knock you out. It could be a while until you get two sacks, but still. Uh, but it says extra blitzers that are not, are gonna be highlighted during the play in general. So last year, I'm pretty sure it was just third and fourth down. I mean, if it's all downs, that's a really worthwhile ability because you'll always know where the blitz is coming from. You know how easy that is to play like that? Okay, uh, I'm gonna ID the mic, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna slide left, and there you go, every blitz is picked up. That's pretty OP. Then we got Gambler, let's see this one. All right, so I was right, it was can't be intercepted by AI defenders. So like, you know like when you throw like a quick pass, like a quick slant real quick, and it's just, and you know you can't switch on, like the user won't be able to switch on. Like it's like a quick drag, quick slant, one-on-one -on -one like that. If the AI gets it, it'll just tip off his hands. He won't be able to intercept it unless the user presses B fast enough and holds Y. But really you can only do that on deeper passes. Especially when you're using like a linebacker, like it's very hard to switch on without like messing up your play. Sometimes it's better to let the computer take it. I mean, if you're fast enough and you're quick enough with your fingers and all that, probably could get it, but the odds of it are pretty low. You get it from three consecutive completions of five plus yards and then two incompletions. That's not bad. Let's go check out the next one, which is going to be uh pro reads keep the chains moving so keep the chains moving highlights the first open receiver while in the pocket three consecutive passes to five yards again knock out one sack like i said i really don't like pro reads i don't think it's the greatest of the abilities in my opinion or x factors i don't like it but maybe some people use it maybe like beginners could really get used to that online regs or like 
uh, playing franchise. And franchise is probably super cool. It's just not cool against user defenders and people who are trying to bait you. And then we got trust, truce, so not say possession overall else. Can't fumble when in the zone. Five one oh, it's five one yard runs now. Okay, so they changed that. I'm pretty sure because in the beta, I was pretty sure it was like seven or eight. So five one yard runs really isn't bad. You can get that by the second quarter. Eight was like pushing it to halftime, and depending on how good the defense was, five yard runs that's easy. Run a QB blast, or just even for me, it's just I would like escape hard scrambling. Just like you wait, you wait, pick up four, pick up three. I do that all the time when a play breaks down. That could be very easy to get actually if you have escape artists like a Lamar Jackson, which is exactly what it's meant for. But guys, that's about it for this. I'm gonna go check the other link real quick, and if that is not there, I guess we are done for this video. There may not be another link. Okay, guys, it's working now, so here you go. Aaron Rodgers, a little bio. Aaron Rodgers makes every throw look effortless. This guy can sling the rock with six for 60 yards with a simple flick of the wrist. The best QB is like Rodgers, learns to take calculated risk. When he enters, enters the zone, his gambler ability is activated. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys all of these real quick. Oh, so that takes you there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all these real quick just so we can get through this, but I'm not gonna waste too much time because it's been kind of long. Surgeon at QB, Drew Brees will carve up the opposing defenses with his precision passing when he enters the zone. Pro Reads ability will highlight his first open receiver. It's pretty cool as well. Then we got Lamar Jackson. Dynamic agility and blazing speed make Lamar or Jackson untouchable in the open field. Most effective ball carriers will prioritize maintaining possession over all else. When into the zone, no tackles made against him. If a defender catches him, will result in fumble. Oh, it has to be a defender. Oh, I'm dumb. I thought it said I thought it was like oh, not. A, I had to be an AI. If a user did it, wouldn't work. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else? We got Patrick Mahomes. And that's pretty much it. The ultimate playmaker, Mahomes can make every throw, whatever, whether he's looking or not, with his bazooka ability. I'm not gonna read these all, guys. I'm, you guys, you guys can go ahead. I'll put the link down below, probably, if you guys see it, or it's on the EA's Twitter page. There's no doubt that Russell Wilson's a magician in the pocket. Blink, and you'll miss him springing upfield for a big gain. And then we got Tom Brady, which is just simply known as the greatest of all time, is indeed the goat. Okay, guys, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more Madden news. If you do, turn that noti bell on so you never miss any more news updates. And give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out the channel, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.